Hi, Darren Hyde here with Hairline Dovin along with uh, Chris Daughters from the Caddis Fly. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, some steelhead flies. Uh, it's my passion, my love uh, of chasing chrome. And uh, one of the, the fly that we're going to be tying is, is a uh, articulator series that I've developed. And um, love to fish these flies. Uh, this fly is basically a what I call a flow blue um, articulator. A um, lot of movement in the water and we're gonna get right down to showing you how to, to work this thing up. First off I'm gonna uh, show you how to uh, incorporate the the wire on the shank which it, uh, to attach the hook. So let's uh, let's get started. Um, basically what we want, we're gonna be using here is is uh, I've chose a, uh, a blue Senyo's articulated uh, hook shank. It's a 40 millimeter and uh, we're going to be using um, Senyo's uh, uh, articulated uh, intruder wire in a blue. This is for hooks sizes 6 and larger. Okay, now what I've done here is I've pre-cut the wire and using uh, wire cutters, I don't prefer using scissors, but wire cutters work better, you're not going to dull your scissors up. I've basically uh, pre-cut this wire to fit the size of uh, a Daiichi 2557 size 4 hook. And um, what I've done here is I measure the length of the of the loop on the wire to make sure that it uh, it goes over the uh, the back bend of the hook and I want to keep I want to give this a little bit of extra length so that if I want to switch out to a number two or even bigger it just depends on what size hook you prefer uh, that incorporates the length of uh, how much wire you want to let out the back end of this thing so I've started my um, I've started my thread base here I'm going to match up. I know that I need that that wire to the length of the back end of that hook. I'm going to secure that base down with a little pinch. We're going to wrap this thing forward. I'm going to stick these wire butt ends in between the the eye of that hook shank. It'll hold it down and I'm going to use that as a as a security point, security blanket basically. I'm going to wrap this thing back on itself with the thread back down the hook shank. This will also keep the body um, in unison. I'm going to go down one more time and that part is is pretty much secure. Um, we're going to tie in a um, eyeball, which is hairline pseudo eyes. This happens to be a a, a, a medium size uh, black with a chartreuse pupil. We're going to secure that eye down using figure eight style wraps. go we just get that started and we can finish that baby off I like to go around that really locks in that thread from that figure eight one more time a couple of those and I'm gonna take a long reach whip finish tool and just come around just secure that thread wrap and wire We'll just clip that off. Now, if you have some time and you want to, what I prefer doing is making a bunch of these shanks and then securing them down with um, Zappa Gap. Um, the only thing is, is this stuff will take a. Uh, it's better to let it dry for, a, you know, a few hours or overnight at best. If you're in a hurry though, however, and you want this stuff done right away, 
I can this is the this is the cure to all elements right here this hydro uh, clear cure goo this is the hydro and I'm just basically gonna coat this baby coat these eyes coat the wire and the thread I'm just gonna give it a light coat doesn't have to be a lot that'll just lock in that wire thread and eye right there we're just gonna zap that baby with a with a light now we carry a premium light that even makes it even even uh, sharper about five seconds and this thing is cured hard as hard as glass so I'm gonna do this for about 10 seconds on each side and uh, we should have um, good results here for for locking in this material this thing is never gonna pull out and that's your prepared shank and then that wire has kind of a, a bigger loop on it but it, once you put the hook in that tightens that right down yes okay I think we're we're hard as a rock look at that no tack it's hard as a rock and that is my friends a finished shank that uh, you can trust that uh, that thing's gonna go go to storm on the connect talk and, and land a big king so there you go